So Season 3 Reloaded in Call of Duty DMZ has given ourselves a brand new map. This can be accessed through the map Almazra, meaning you can go into Almazra, loot up, and then go into a second instance within that same raid into the second map. And that is a bunker complex hidden underground underneath Almazra. There are four locations you can go to to get into this area. Three of them are marked on the map and one of them is not marked. I'll be showing you in this video all four locations as well as what you need to do when you get in there. The first locations we're going to go over are the ones that are marked. The first one we will talk about is Rohan Oil. Inside Rohan Oil, if you go underground towards the denied area, you'll have a bunch of AI. But once you've defeated them or run past them, you can go down through this doorway and then through the hole in the wall. All the way through, you'll be able to see a bunker door. Once everyone in your team is inside this airlock, you'll be able to proceed to this complex. Once inside, you will have to travel through and traverse your way to another doorway and it will involve you taking out a bunch of heavily armed enemies. There's not really too many puzzles for this entrance point, however it is quite a popular one so you need to be careful and on top of that the enemies here are quite powerful in this entry point. The next entry point we're going to be talking about is this small little place at the very top of the map between Tarak and Almazra city. It's underneath this little bridge, so what you need to do is go under the bridge, you'll see a hole in the wall, go through this hole in the wall, and go through the water, and you'll eventually make your way to the bunker. Now, this actually has not as many enemies as you might think, but a water puzzle that you need to traverse to get to the main area of this complex. So once you enter, you'll be going through a bunch of waterways, and some of it has oxygen at the very top of the room, but some of the rooms are completely filled, so you need to monitor your oxygen quite well, and if you have a rebreather, I suggest taking it in, or find it while you're looting around inside of this entry point. The final point that is marked on the map is in Almazra city itself. It is by the high-rise buildings and the police academy. It's sort of halfway between it inside of a car park. You'll go underground to this underground car park. And when you go underground, if you hug the wall and don't go further into the car park, you'll see a double door on that wall that is closest to the ramps that you go down in. And once you've done that, you can go down a set of stairs. And all the way at the bottom of these stairs is a hole in the wall that you can go through and you can go through all the way to the end where there will be a bunker entrance to the complex and then once you've gone into here you'll have yourself a few rooms with a bunch of enemies in and what you'll need to do is kill all the enemies and kill all the sentry guns and make sure you are looking around for jumper cables and a car battery because once you approach the next bunker door that gets you to the main part of the complex you will need to actually activate it by putting it in the circuit board. You'll need to put a car battery and jumper cables inside there and then press the big red button to get into the dark area of this complex. Now of course if you find it in Almazra it will stay in your inventory when you travel to the complex but if you don't then it is a guaranteed spawn inside of this entry point so you will find a car battery and jumper cables somewhere around you just need to loot for them. And then finally very top of the map you'll see this location. This location isn't marked on the map but it's actually a fourth entry point to the complex and once you get here you'll see sort of like a sand structure and you'll go inside it and then down under you will get yourselves a fourth bunker entrance point. Once you travel through you will be greeted with a lovely little puzzle where some of the rooms are filled with toxic gas so you're going to need to kill the enemies in there and pick up their gas masks. And what you need to do to progress to the next room is close all of these side doors within the room, the big bunker doors on the sides of these gas filled rooms. You can do that in the control rooms of each of the rooms, you'll see a red button that says close doors. And once you've pressed all of them, you'll notice that some of the doors might not be closed. So you'll need to go up to them and then on the sides of the doors you will see sort of a crank that you need to manually turn and that will close the final door. Once you've done that, you can progress to the next room, and then from there, you can go all the way through to the main door, which doesn't require any batteries or jumper cables or anything like that, and you can get into the dark area of the complex. There's going to be tons more videos on this complex coming to the channel very shortly, so if you do want to know more, including how to do all of the bosses that are hidden around this complex, then please drop a subscribe and keep up to date with the channel, because it will be up very soon. 
Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Season 3 Reloaded down below in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.